All right, four on the floor brought to you by Cedarway Banks. Four questions, 20 seconds each when you hear the bell. Shut up so the other guy can talk. All right, question number Unless one. Unless you say Tim Tebow, and will, then you don't know whether it's 20 seconds. Will Kobe <laughs> ever really forgive Larry Nance Jr., the recent L.A. Lakers draft pick, for the tweet that Larry Nance Jr. sent out about four years ago calling Kobe a, well, it said, hashtag Rapist. Here's a little Twitter advice, boys and girls. Hashtag rapist is not really a good idea. Probably not. Um, Kobe says he'll forgive and forget. I think Will Kobe. He? I think Kobe already forgave him, and I think he was genuine about it. Because I think Kobe said, "Listen, kid, you were stupid. We've all done stupid stuff when we were 19 years old, and that's all right. But you better not miss that next dunk." If I'd been the Lakers, and they obviously didn't vet social media of the players they drafted. A, I'd learn from that. That'd be A. B, I would trade his butt. I would get rid of him. Kobe is one of your sculptured players outside the arena. He will be. Statuesque. I don't Statue need him. Statuary. I don't need him. He's not any good. Any, I mean, we're not talking about somebody who's good. Yeah, Mark, agrees, father Mark good. agrees with you on that. His, but, you know, trade him. Get rid of but here's You the made thing. a mistake. Take your mistake somewhere Can't else. I, that's my opinion. Right, that's you fine. have your opinion. Kobe's now. like Michael. Kobe doesn't forget that stuff. Oh. And in practice, he might say he forgives him. He ain't, he, he ain't forgiving him. And in practice, he's going to take it right to him. All right, question number two. Would you trade D'Angelo Russell if you're the Lakers and you just pick D'Angelo Russell? Would you trade him for DeMarcus Cousins? I don't need 20 seconds. I need five. Not only no, heck no, ding me. <laughs> I can think about the same. I don't want DeMarcus Cousins on my team. I don't care how good he is or how he treats his mother or anything. I don't want him on my team. So, no, I, I don't do it. I'm with you 100%. I don't need my 30 seconds either. I don't want DeMarcus Cousins. At some point, it's always going to blow up with this kid. All right, question number three. Why do we care so much more about the NBA draft than the NHL draft? Let, let him go first here. Okay. I, I see the players in the NBA. Uh, we had a guest on earlier that uh, follows basketball, high school, college, and pros. I at least see them in college. I, you see them all the time. I mean, it used to be in the old days in football and basketball in college, uh, you better go to Notre Dame. You better go to Southern Cal, Oklahoma, because the rest of the people aren't going to be seen. You can see every football game in the world. You can see every basketball game that's played. We see them. We. we we don't see five minutes of NHL junior hockey in this country. You know, we don't know anybody. We don't care. Yeah, the NFL drafts the best because um, players, once they go to couch, have to stay there for three years. So you can get to see them play for three seasons. The NBA is the second best because they have to go at least one season. And if they're Kentucky players, you've seen them all play 15 times. You're familiar with them. If it's baseball or hockey, you've never seen them play. So it's not as interesting. Agreed. We have an affinity for the kids who are coming out in basketball more so than hockey because of the reasons you guys stated. There's one other thing. Um, in this country in particular, the vast majority of us, or maybe not the vast majority, but most of us have played basketball and can relate to the game better than we can to hockey. Is and there an NHL network? I don't, I don't yes. Know. Yes, there is. All right, final. I don't even know that. So. Uh, it's summer, so a summary question. Tank top or T-shirt? T-shirt for me. I'll go first. T-shirt. I wouldn't wear a tank top if you gave me a house full of fire alarms. Oh, Paisley. Paisley? No, I don't care. Tank top is... <laughs> tank tops, I want to see women and guys that are sculptured that are 20 years old in tank tops. I don't want to see me in a tank top. You know what I always say? Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. If you got the guns, if you well, got the guns. Hello, hello. You're wearing the tank top. I'm no, looking, I'm not I'm wearing looking a tank around the room. I haven't, I haven't worn a tank top since uh, I was in college. <laughs> and even then, I wondered why I did it. <laughs> All right, four on the floor. Four good question. Brought to you by Citywide Banks, a family owned Colorado focused business bank. They have 12 locations across Denver and Boulder, so there is one near you. You got to look for it. They've got more than 25. 
things that your business needs, 25 services that your business needs, and they have things. And they have 25 things that are really important. <laughs> including toasters. You can get a toaster there. And uh, they support that. charities to all over. <laughs> they, uh, they support charities all over Colorado. At Citywide Banks, it's where we do our shopping.